Per soccer header rules in the USA, players 10 and younger are not allowed to head the ball in either games or practices. This is because their skulls are underdeveloped and stick around for the form on how to do a header. From ages 11 to 13, youth players are only allowed to head the ball in practices but not in games. This rule was implemented in 2015 by the US Soccer Federation. This came after a class action lawsuit that charged FIFA, US Soccer, and AYSO for negligence. They found that high school soccer players suffered a lot of concussions in 2010. These 50,000 concussions were more than wrestling, baseball, basketball, and softball combined. For the heading technique in soccer, players should remember to 1. Keep their eyes on the ball in order to be able to adjust their head to strike the ball with their forehead. Your forehead is one of the thickest parts of your skull. Using the top of the forehead near the natural hairline is where you can get the most power, have the most accuracy, and it's the thickest portion of the skull so you're not going to be in a lot of pain when you do this. For soccer headers, the idea is to always hit the ball, not let the ball hit you. By the way, I'm Dylan Joseph, trainer and number one best-selling Amazon author. Two, for soccer heading technique, make sure to roll your arms back as you thrust your head forward in order to generate more power. Do this while keeping your eyes open until the very last second. Three, follow through with the header to ensure maximum power. Similar to when you kick the ball, when you follow through your header, it's going to increase the probability that your header is harder and therefore the goalie has less time to react and to stop your shot, which means more goals. Subscribe to watch my videos first.